What is good, season ticket holders? If you're not a season ticket holder, stop right now. Hit the subscribe button. Help us get to 400 subscribers. It's not a lot, but it means a lot to me. Anyway, I'm Marcus from Proper Retro Boots. If you don't know already, I sell classic and rare and cool football boots on Instagram and on our website. Check us out if you're interested in football boots and check out this video if you're interested in hearing about something that resellers very seldom talk about, whether it's football boots, trainers, whatever, and that is money. And the truth about the money in reselling, how much can you make? Is it worth doing to make some extra money? Can you live off it full time as a job? I'm gonna tell you my experiences so far. I give you a little bit of uh, information, a little bit behind the scenes about how much money I personally make doing this, how much money the business makes, where it's at, how it's grown, etc. So, if you're interested in hearing about that, stick around. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff that's currently going on in the boot room, some stuff that's been happening. It's been a few weeks since I last posted a video. It's been Christmas, it's been New Year. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. As you can tell, I've been getting a bit fat selling boots. That's what life's all about. So, if you'd like to please come with me into the next portion of the video, I'll talk to you and tell you a little bit about what I've been up to, what cool boots we've got in, how much money I make selling these damn boots. Oh, look at this. Big boy. See those red top boxes in there, means there's something good. Let's uh, clear a little bit of space in here, tidy up, get everything out of there. Look at all these. Wow. Got these super cool Lotto Zero Evolution, very Syria Playmaker, circa 2004. Just come with a free elastic headband. Then, of course, a bunch of mid tier preds. Uh, some Addy cores. I'm sure, these will fly out. Very nice leather boot, gonna be very cheap as well. Already had lots of people mess about these mid tier Absolian Absolutes. Very nice colorway. Some Beckham specials over here, and I'll show you these F30s up next. So, here we've got a bunch of F30s. You might remember these ones are the ones famously where Messi didn't like the F50 because of the adjustable studs, he wanted a fixed all plate. So, played in these bad boys. The F30s, got the navy, green, got some black pairs, and then one pair, only UK 6.5, but we have a pair of the tunics, top tier, come with a bunch of spare studs and everything as well. And then the pièce de résistance, three pairs of these Beckham absolutes, top tier, brand new box. Got everything here, the original bag, insoles, leaflets, some pulses over there as well, only UK six. Three pairs of these, but I've actually just sold a pair to a footballer called Hannah Kane, plays for Leicester City women's team and the Wales national team. So I'll show you those getting boxed up in a sec. A little snippet from a YouTube video from my good pal Noah over in the US, who is a pro footballer. Bought a couple of wicked pairs of boots off us before. We just sent him out his favourite ever pair of boots. You might have seen him in the last video. Hyper Venom Phantom 3 DF Just Do It World Cut Pack. He's unboxed them, reviewed them. He's got an awesome channel. It's way bigger than mine. Loads more subscribers. Amazing content. Like I said, he's a pro footballer. Showing you all about um, kind of training, trials, joining clubs, the lifestyle of a, a kind of a professional footballer who's not like a super huge Premier League star. So like, there's not many people out there making content like Noah. So I really enjoy his videos. I'm going to show you a quick little snippet now of him unboxing and reviewing these. If you don't already know about him, check him out. Oh, cool. Okay, so got a proper retro boots uh, kind of postcard right here. There you go. It says, thank you. Here at PRB, we value not only your purchase, but your support in helping us put the fun. And then he wrote me an awesome note. Uh, Noah, thank you so much for copying another classic. Here's, an, here's to an amazing 2022. I'll be watching every video and supporting you along the way. Have an awesome holiday season. Marcus at PRB. Hashtag be awesome. That is a cool touch, man. Love you, man. You're awesome. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person someday. Okay. Okay. So there's thing else. Hopefully it's coming through on this second cam. So hopefully you get the idea there of kind of Noah's channel, what he's about, what he does. 
hopefully he's gonna feature in this video a little bit later on actually because I'm supposed to have a Zoom call with him about some ideas that I've got for how me and him can link up on some content. I think it's always great if you run a small business, if you make content or whatever, to reach out to other people whose content you enjoy or is similar to yours, see how you can help each other out. You know, he's based in the US, I'm in the UK, I'm sure we can help each other grow. So yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Next on the agenda, take out all these pairs that have sold. This pair on the top is actually getting dropped off. It's my boy Josh, cheap UK football boots. He lives in Manchester as well, so I'm gonna meet him, drop those off. Everything else is getting posted. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to carry them all myself. Uh, might have to get an Uber, but you know, We'll find out. From the Uber and the post office, the next thing will be to go to the gym, get a workout in, playing football later, so I'm gonna work out quite early today, try and keep myself feeling fresh for football. So means I need to change out of these. People seem to enjoy it when I talk about fashion. This is just a champion hoodie. Represent 24-7 stretch cargo pants, PRB, Nike ID dunks. What's your opinions on the uh, Michael Jackson white socks with black pants, black shoes combo? Do I look like a nonce? Do I look cool? Let me know. Right, let's get changed in some gym gear. Let's hit the post office. Let's send all these orders out then get ready to play football later on. Whoa, massive change. Grey hoodie, joggers. It's very, very old. Come to gas ones, Converse. It's time to go post some boots, lift some weights. There we go, all posted out. But you can see that, 113 pounds postage there. That's a lot of money. And now, as promised, gonna talk a little bit, like I said, about money. I'm just gonna go over a few phrases quickly before we kind of go into the information that I'm gonna chuck around just to kind of explain and break down kind of the finances of running a business a little bit more. Uh, if you already know some of this stuff, if you run your own business, sorry, but just for anyone, any young people out there, whatever, who don't have any business experience, there's some important information you should probably know. So, number one, you have, uh, I'd say different types of money, but it's not just different numbers, which mean different things. So you have your turnover, which is the overall like amount of money that the business is technically making in terms of sales, etc. Your turnover is always going to be your biggest number, but that's not necessarily, you know, it doesn't really mean anything. What really matters is the profit margin. Profit margin is obviously the amount of profit you are making overall per item or like in the year, etc. That's the actual money that you've made. Okay, turnover, say you sold a million pounds worth of stuff, but you spent 900,000 pounds to get that stuff, you'd made 100,000 pounds profit. You know, that'd be nice, cool, 100 grand of profit. It's cool, but you have to spend that 900,000 to make 100,000. So a million turnover, 100,000 profit, very different numbers, uh, still lots of ones and zeros, but very different numbers in terms of business, and that's something I think uh, young people or people who haven't been in business kind of don't understand maybe or you haven't experienced is the phrase you have to spend money to make money is very very true especially for reselling business like myself then on top of that you have overheads and expenses and that can be anything like I just showed you there postage that's a big expense obviously I charge for postage but I still cover some of the cost I think I charge 3 dollars on the website for UK postage but I send everything first class so it's more like five pounds international rangers um, so like I just had uh, three pairs going to America I charge 19 pounds for each of those for shipping which uh, is most of the amount it usually cost somewhere between 21 and 24 pounds so I'm still covering like a few quid of each one but I'm just trying to make it more likely for people who are abroad to uh, to shop for stuff so I'm happy to cover a little bit of the cost if it means I get more sales because certain boots and certain sizes sell better in other countries so yeah down on top of that in terms of expenses and stuff, I have packing materials, so all the boxes that they got sent out in if they didn't come in the original box, or you put a second box on, something like that. Postage bags, labels, getting thank you cards printed, all that stuff costs money. That's another expense that you put through the business. Money that you are spending to make the overall quality of service, things like that better. That's something that um, this year I'm looking to improve on. I send everything out in these flat pack brown, eco-friendly cardboard boxes when they don't come in their own box but uh, I recently copped a pair from Rare Boots U, one of the big dogs and I will show you they've got their own printed boxes right here lovely black cardboard you know Rare Boots U logo on there that's the extra kind of touch you're going to pay more money to get your own personalised boxes made but when you receive them you know it's all part of the service they obviously have a much higher turnover more profit more sales got more money to put into stuff like that 
things like marketing, uh, you will spend money on, say, whether you're running Instagram, Facebook ads, stuff like that. I know a lot of people find them very useful. I sometimes run them, not very often, but you might take a chunk of your the money that you've made overall, your budget, you put that into marketing. That's be expense. Again, you have to spend money to make money, pay to run ads, more people see it, more people buy stuff. Or at least, you know, that's how you would hope it would work. So you just have to bear in mind, you know, you have your overall turnover, profit margin, expenses. Then from there, you can pay yourself salary or dividends or depends what kind of company you run. But I'll go into that more in a minute. So for the next little portion of the video, I thought I'd be very official and break out whiteboard. Hope you guys can see this, depending on the lighting. But here I've written down PRB 2021, because I'm going to talk about last year, 2021 kind of some of the numbers from business. Turnover, overall amount of money that the business has made. Profit, the amount of profit that there is out of that. Losses, cause everything's always up and down. As much as you make money in any business, you're probably gonna have time to you lose some money as well, things go wrong. And then wage, aka how much I pay myself, how much I, act I personally, actually, Marcus, as a person, make from selling football boots. So, 2021, like I said, if you've been following for a while, I uh, quit. I had a nine to five job or half eight to five job working in a photography studio as a commercial photographer. I quit, I think it was in late May of 2021 because I wanted to take proper retro more seriously uh, in terms of running it as an efficient business. But also in the field I was working in as a photographer, you can either work for a studio or you can go freelance. So obviously freelance in any career uh, it's less job security but as a point where i've been doing it long enough i have enough skill enough talent i know enough people that i've been lucky enough to be able to do a lot of freelance work and make enough money doing that to support myself pay my bills kind of live life um it allows me a lot more freedom and a lot more time to put into prb so i can't i kind of say sometimes that i do proper retro full time but realistically i probably work two maybe three days very rarely like four or five days a week doing photography work all over all over the north of england at the moment uh, working for different studios or for people who hire me to work on projects or help people out in studios and stuff and you make a lot more money being freelance you get paid a day rate whatever you feel uh, is suitable for your skills whatever you want to charge uh, but then obviously you know you're self-employed so i might work tons for like three four weeks i could be booked up and then i could not work for months so Basically, I'll just preface it now by saying the money that I make that I actually really live off, I make from doing photography work. So if anybody needs a photographer for anything, drop me a message. But proper retro boots, the entity, the limited company, technically we're a limited company. You have to register your company in the UK. You can either be self-employed or you can register as a limited or whatever. I'm sure there's other options as well, but I chose to register as a limited company. So it's finance is separate from mine. Um, the company in itself is an entity. Um, I am the director, I think technically, of the company. I'm the only employee. So, but yeah, proper retro boots. 2021 turnover for proper retro boots was roughly, so the turnover was roughly 66,000 pounds, there or thereabouts, which, you know, for a company which is not even two years old, like, I mean, the Instagram page isn't even two years old yet. Uh, it's pretty crazy. So I went from spending 100 pounds on eBay to flip a few pairs of boots to in the last 12 months you know 66,000 pounds worth of football boots being sold that's pretty mental uh, you know I'm sure there's lots of other boot pages that sell way more make way more whatever like I said this isn't this is very young still um, it's not the point where I could just do proper retro and live off it realistically because to keep it growing and make it a more successful business uh, if I wanted to do that I'd have to get investors and financial backing and stuff this is Proper Retro has never had any investment, any backers, anything like that. It's just been me just turning over the money. I started with 100 quid, no savings, nothing, just growing it and growing it up to the point where we've sold, you know, nearly like 70,000 pounds worth of boots in a year. So that's pretty cool. And then of that 66,000 pound profit is roughly, let me run the numbers. Numbers run, beep, 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 beep. Profit, just looked it up, roughly around 21,000 pounds. So see total turnover, 66,000 profit around 21,000 so it means basically for every hundred pounds that uh, I'm spending on a pair of boots I'm selling them and after shipping and stuff you know it's like 150 pounds coming back in so my average profit you know it's it's like a healthy amount 
it's good, you know, but in terms of profit is the actual money that you can keep and can use to grow and stuff like that. £21,000 is, you know, good for me right now, but it's not enough where I would pay myself a full-time salary off it or anything like that. But it's a very healthy amount of growth compared to like the 10 months or before that we were operating. So, you know, it's growing steadily, nicely. I'd like to think of making smart investments to keep it growing. Losses. Now, 2021 was a little bit rough just after I kind of quit my job. Things were looking really good. I had loads of good stock coming in. Things were selling out. I was making money, turn, like, turning everything over pretty quickly. But then I had a period where I had a bunch of boots that I bought that broke on people and ended up having to refund a ton of money and stuff. And it's kind of it's a tricky one in this business. I know every single reseller has the same problem, when it, especially when it comes to football boots. Like stuff is going to break, uh, people are going to demand refunds. By, it's very tricky by law what you do and don't have to do. But you know, for me in these situations, I ended up losing one month. I ended up refunding a bunch of pairs, and I ended up losing maybe about. I think overall, in total, in terms of actual money that was completely lost, somewhere around. £1,700, which might not seem a lot in terms of the relation to like the turnover, but when you think about it, it's more there's in your business you have a certain amount of money and you spend that money and then you sell as much of the products you can, you get money back in, then you have to use that now slightly bigger pot of money to buy more stuff and then keep turning that over and keep growing it. So to lose like a big chunk of profit that I've made, like the business had been building, and then to suddenly lose nearly £2,000 like worth profit. Think about how many times I have to sell a pair of boots to make that two thousand pound profit, or like to to basically take a few steps back. Just as I kind of left my job, it was like it was rough. It hit me mentally very hard. It was very tough. It made me second guess whether or not this was like a viable idea and all this. I was going through a real dark time with that. But it's one of those things you kind of just have to get on with it and keep moving. Because if you don't, it's only going to make things worse and mess you up even more. So yeah, I lost about one thousand seven hundred pounds there. So, yeah, that was rough. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, you could lose money on like all sorts of things. For me, generally, like a couple of times I've, I've shown you on the channel here, I bought boots, they end up being fake. So I've maybe I could add that on there. I probably lost maybe like 150 quid, 200 quid over the last year buying pairs of boots that end up being fake. Then I don't want to sell them on. I usually just give them to one of my friends that I play football with who doesn't care, or I'll just throw them in the bin or something. Like, for instance, got a pair of laceless coppers here that I bought that turned out to be fake. I actually sold them to another reseller and he was like, bro, I've got a few pairs of these, these look funny, I think they're fake, sorry. And I obviously refunded him, got the boots back, they've just been sat there because I was trying to give them to my friend and then he blew his knee out, so. Tricky. And then the last number that I'm gonna talk about here, wage, how much I personally actually make from running the business, how much I pay myself over the last 12 months, the astronomical fee that is. See that? About 2,400 pounds. This, uh, again, all these numbers are like a, a rough estimate. I'm just going off my head what I can remember and stuff. I, obviously, I need to go over all my spreadsheets and stuff like that to get an actual number, but it's just showing you a rough amount. Basically, on average, some months I don't take anything at all for myself. Some months I need like a few hundred quid to pay some bills or do something like Christmas time. You have to take a little bit of money to buy presents, stuff like that, because, like I said, I live off the money I make from doing the photography work most of the time. But, you know, if I have a down month or like when I very first left my job like I quit my job with no savings do you know how stupid and insane that is I had no money saved up nothing in the bank I had no debt at this point I'd paid my overdraft off that I had from uni did that through selling boots right at the beginning so I had no debt I was like mm, I only need you know like a small amount to live off every month I was getting paid you know not great at my nine to five job anyway so I was like cool that's fine but then with all the refunds and stuff and then like all these like all this stuff going on at the time there were some months where i had to dip into money from proper retro to like live off and some months where i was like cool right i've done lots of photography work i don't need to touch this money just leave it all in there keep it turning over but I, it works out on average to like two or three hundred pounds a month some months i don't take anything so what i'm trying to do over the next year is if i do pay myself anything take it out put it into savings put that money into like the s p 500 something for the future so that you know it accumulates some some interest stuff like that um basically i don't see proper retro paying me a wage that i can like live off or 
like paying my bills, stuff like that for years, like a few years, like again, bring them up again, Red Boots for you, really nice lads, Cam and Jake, I speak to them quite often, really nice guys, have been very helpful to me. I remember them saying, I think it was last year, end of like year, last year, uh, Cam shared something about like how much uh, Red Boots for you had turned over on his Instagram story and stuff, and he was like, this is the first year after like, what, like six, seven years or something where they'd kind of paid themselves like a proper wage and that's kind of the way you have to look at business is like most of the time a business, you might have a really good idea, you might be making sales and stuff, but in terms of growing it to be sizable enough where you can actually live from it and it's not, you know, risky, it'll take quite a while unless you have like a million dollar idea straight off the top of your head. If you're moving physical products, stuff like that, it's always going to be harder. So yeah, I don't see it paying me any crazy money over the next few years, but I'm happy with like working, doing the photography work a few days a week, that pays my bills, cover stuff, I can use money from proper retro, pay myself a little bit every month that I put into savings, save that money up, use that to invest in something that can, you know, hopefully make me more money in the future. So whether it's take that money and invest it into property or into stocks or whatever, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Right, that's enough of the boring numbers stuff. Hope you find it interesting though. Uh, I mean, I won't lie, right at the beginning when I was doing proper retro, I was just buying used pairs, selling them through Instagram, flipping them, you know, it wasn't a company or anything, it was just me, just side hustling, I guess you'd say. And there was one point where I was definitely like, just starting to pick up and get like, get. I think we had maybe like six, 7,000 followers, I was selling like pairs every week, maybe making like a few hundred quid a week, and I was like, wow, like, this is, I'm making as much money from this as I am from my day job, it's great, I'm rich, I've got loads of money, I've got a Selfridges every weekend buying new t-shirts and taking Mr. Retro out for meals and stuff like that, and then I was like, shit, what am I doing? Like, I need to take this money and put it back into Proper Retro to keep it growing, because at that point I was starting to think maybe I could do this for a job one day, but then I was like, if I pay myself all the profits and I go and spunk it all every weekend, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, you know, learn from my mistakes, guys. Might have got a few new pairs of trainers out of that, but in the long term, I would have been much better off keeping as much of that money as possible, reinvesting into the business. Now, at this point, it'd be even bigger than it is. So, yeah, basically, uh, I make nothing from selling boots right now. The company is growing, and that's the most important thing, but I personally don't take that much money from it, and that's my advice to anyone out there who's in a similar position, runs a small business, etc. put as much of the money back into it as you can, and then in the long term, when it really matters, it'll, it'll benefit you. Right, I'm gonna flip this around because I'm going to go to the gym and then go straight to play football after this, so I'm going to show you some of the stuff that's in my boot bag for football tonight. So, first off, it's cold outside. Who remembers these bad boys? 99p magic, grippy gloves from the post office. Pants. You all see my pants, bet you love it, don't you, you dirty dogs? But always, uh, you know, like dry fit. Dry fit anyway, I've got a pair, brand new spanky pair of grip socks from Rolo Sports. One of the companies you hooked us up recently with a few pairs for a video that's coming soon on grip socks and another video on accessories for uh, footballers, whatever stuff you need this year. Uh, yeah, so check them out. There's a few other companies as well. That'll be in a whole other video coming soon. Uh, we do uh, red versus blue every week, me and my mates. As you can tell, I'm on blue this week, rocking underrated Chelsea third shirt there with a little zip up, because uh, I like to wear long sleeves when I'm playing, especially when it's cold. And then I've got some uh, DSG Jordan uh, training training pants and that you all, you all want to see the most what boots am I going to rock with this they're in an OG hypervenom bag but it's not hypervenoms that's right trusty 11 Pro 3's I've been wearing these locks they've got an HG sole plate my feet were getting a bit battered recently but uh, I've got some new AG boots coming soon I'm going to test out the air for me tonight sick hi guys I've done that thing again where I um, I just don't film anything for about three or four days and I forget to film the clip I was supposed to film. Keep the video going. That's good, isn't it? I'm, I'm so good at this YouTube thing. Um, it's mental in the boot room right now. I'll flip it around and show you in a sec. A lot of stuff going on, but I want to show you some cool stuff that's happened in the last couple of days. Uh, yeah, very cool stuff. Right, uh, get ready to see some 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 mess, Mrs. Retro. If you see this, I'm sorry. She doesn't like it when I show when stuff's messy. But this is the reality of this game. I love this game. Right here we go. So we've got another picture set up on the spare bed. 
delivery, boxes, more boots, stuff everywhere. Got some pairs here that have just sold. One fun thing that's been happening. These beauties heading out as well as some more. Then another pair going in the mix and another pair of these bad boys, can't even see them. Had this big box, ride, mid tier, Adidas pairs, F30s, threads, all sorts. And a couple of special little deliveries. These silver boxes. Up well, first, some Tempo Legend 9 SG anti clog. Banging. Best boot of 2021, in a lot of people's opinion. These are off to your lad. Luke Robinson plays for Wigan Athletics. That's another pair. Off to a pro. Always very cool. Next pair. Another pair. Elite Knights. AG Vapor 14s. Artificial grass plate. These are off to another wicked pro, aka me. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, big man like me, man like Marcus, it's gonna be a rocking pair of vapors. Sorry, it's a little bit bright in it, can't even see these. Gonna be rocking these. I wanted to get some AG plate boots and uh, Nike. Nike's AG at the moment, way better than Adidas. Ask anyone, they'd agree. Uh, I just think these are cool. Got a really good deal off my boy Yasin, aka the soccer sauce. I've shouted him out before. If you don't already, check him out on Instagram. Always, always the best prices on like new Nike pairs. Uh, anything from the last couple of years of Nike in general. It sells like training track suits, footy tops, shin pads, all that kind of stuff as well. Always amazing deals, really nice guy. Pick these up for a steal, elite pair. Can't wait to try them out, hopefully. It's one of the, the videos I keep talking about doing is about uh, what kind of boots you should wear. So some AGs to try out for that, very cool. So as you can see, total chaos. We're about to pack all these up. Hey, yay, yay. Here we go. Yeah, like I said, Shopify is playing up at the moment. If you don't know, that's the uh, the app, the website that uh, I and many other boot sellers and small businesses use to run our online websites, our stores. Basically, it's just not sending me any notifications. So every time I open the app, usually it would pop up on my phone if someone orders some boots. I know to pack them up and stuff. Had some orders for like a day and a half. I thought no one had ordered anything. Check my phone, just went on the app, refreshed it, ping, 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 orders popped up, I was like, oh, crap, these are running late now, so, sorry if anyone has any delays on my boots at the moment, Shopify is not sending notifications, you have to go on, it's like a fun little game actually, refresh it, has anyone bought anything? Yeah, people keep buying stuff, which is awesome, so thank you very much to everyone who's been buying pairs. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting, sorry about the massive uh, time difference in the middle of it, uh, during that time I was doing other work, photography work, stuff like that, so I've not had a lot of time, there's a lot going on in the retro household right now but being busy is a blessing i've said that before thank you very much for watching sorry about the quality of this video it's a bit sporadic a bit all over the place but i hope you found it interesting entertaining informational um yeah as always please check us out on instagram proper retro boots uh proper retro boots .com to buy any boots uh check us out on tiktok for you young folks we're on there making videos because instagram's dying so that's what you have to do just appreciate the support if you want to be a season ticket holder please hit subscribe leave a comment on the video tell me if you liked it or not comment what kind of videos you want to see like i said i've been saying this for a while i've got some different kinds of videos coming but it's just taking a bit of work to make them chef's kiss perfect so appreciate it thank you so much see you in the next video in about two months when i actually decide to make one bye